Let's say that you have some data in Excel. The goal is to create a search bar so that you can type in a search phrase and then get back only those records that contain the search text in the description. If you want to learn how to build a search bar like this, stick with me because I will teach you everything that you need to know. So the first thing that you're going to need is your source data stored somewhere in your Excel workbook. After that, you'll want to specify a space where you can type in your search text. And finally, you need a space for the results. Now you need to make sure that the result space is large enough to hold all of the possible results that you might get back. In this case, the source data covers three columns. So you want to make sure that the result space is three columns across if you want to return every field from the source data. You also want to be sure that there isn't anything below where your results will be. And that's because the number of rows that you get back will change depending on the search text. So it is usually best to leave everything blank below where your results will start. Okie dokie, once you have your spreadsheet set up like this, you're ready to create your formula that will power the search results. Now you want to enter the formula into the top left corner of the result space. So in this case, that is cell B5. So select cell B5 and enter the following formula. Equals filter function, and then you want to select the entire source data range because you want back every field, not just the description. After that, add a comma, and for the second argument, enter the isNumber function. And inside of this function, enter the search function. Now for the first argument of the search function, select the cell that will contain the search text. In this case, that is cell C2. Then add a comma, and for the second argument, select the one column range that you want to search through to find the search text. In this case, you will select G5 through G20, which contains all of the descriptions. And that's because you are searching for the search text within the descriptions of each record. After that, close parentheses three times to complete the formula, and then hit enter. Now, when you type in a search term, you get back only those records that contain the search text within the description. Now, how does this work? Let me show you. The search function looks for the search text within each description and returns a number reflecting the position of that text. If the search function cannot find the text, it returns an error instead. This array of numbers and errors is then passed to the isNumber function. The isNumber function returns a true value for each number and a false value for anything else, including errors. And you can also see here that I included conditional formatting to highlight all of the records where the isNumber function returns true. Finally, the filter function references the entire data range and returns only those rows that match up with the true values returned by the isNumber function. And as a result, you end up with only those records that contain the search text within the description. And that is how you can create a practical and useful search bar in Excel. Now before I end this video, let me show you one more thing. And that is how to search for the search text in more than one column of your source data. For example, what if you want to search in both the description and the title columns? Here is what you would do. Just like before, select the top left cell of the result space and enter the formula just like before. Equals filter function, select the source data, add a comma, then add the isNumber function, then the search function, select the search text in cell C2, and add a comma. Next, select the first column that you want to search in, so let's select the titles in F5 through F20. Then close parentheses twice to close off the isNumber and search functions. Now we also want to search through the description column as well. 
So add a plus sign and then enter the is number function and then the search function. Select the search text in cell C2, add a comma and select the descriptions this time in G5 through G20. Finally, close parentheses three times to complete the formula and press enter. Your formula now searches through both the title and description columns for the search text and returns any records that match. So, whenever you want to search through more than one column, just remember to add a plus sign and then repeat the is number and search function part of the formula. So now, the next time that you need to create an in-house search bar within Excel, you know how to do it, and you will be able to impress all of your coworkers and colleagues. You can also download the practice file in the description if you want to try it out yourself for some extra practice. And that's it for this video. If you learned something new, give this video a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.